Hey everyone, Bernard here with the latest citizen quiz. <laughs> New name now, I might get the hang of that eventually. So, as you know, there's plenty of these little quizzes out there. So, uh, check the links below and obviously check all the playlists, etc. So, if you want to pick up and get a bit, little bit more, 10 or 15 minutes, just take, take part in one of these little quizzes. Again, they're just for fun and you can answer in the time I do it, or you can pause and look back and rewind and think again about about answers. But no point in Googling, is it? I'll give you the answers at the end anyway. So just just a little bit of fun. Uh, and today, with our thanks to this one, this is the Ultimate City Squad. So I think this is the easiest I've done, to be honest with you. I mean, I, I got... I, I, I'm giving myself full points on this one. There's one guy I might have struggled, an older guy that I might have struggled on, but I think I would have sort of sussed him out. But 21 points up for grabs anyway today. So let's say I scored 20. So, yeah, I think this there's a lot of easy ones. You can imagine the ult, the best City players. I mean, if you go through, you look through the book, etc. I mean, they won't, won't be all the ultimate squad. I mean, there's obviously players that I'll show you in this and ask you to give me the name. doesn't mean they are the best. You know, there's obviously going to be certain ones missing. I'll, I'll let you know my little wild cards as well at the end of it when when we're going through the different things. Right, please, if you're not subscribed before, please push the subscribe button. Push the bell notification. We know these little things, citizen vlogs, obviously, I do my cities and history as well. And obviously, citizen present, which is mainly just looking at Twitter at the moment and things that may have happened of interest to us. So please push that bell notification so you know when these things are coming out. And thumbs up's always appreciated. I mean, it only takes you a split second, doesn't it? It's fantastic to, to get a load of thumbs up and, and be appreciated. Thank you very much for that. You know, I hope you enjoy this and let me know. What you think in the comments below? Right, so the ultimate city squad. So we've got basically six questions with um, twenty-one different answers, if you like, because we're going to go through each one. I mean, first of all, we're going to look at yes, the keepers. So I want you to name these three keepers. You can give them up with the nickname if you're not sure. If you, I mean, if you if you know the full name of these guys, just do it. There's no extra points for knowing the full name as opposed to knowing a surname or a nickname. You know. So anyway. We've got three keepers here. As I said, it's not the ultimate. I've got a little wild card I'd add to those three keepers, but name those three keepers. Three points up for grabs. As I say, to, to me, these are all quite easy, but I, I live and breathe looking at these sort of things, so I'll probably know better. I won't pick on anyone who doesn't get them all right, you know what I mean? So three keepers there. Can you remember them? If, you, if you're struggling, just pause it and have a think. Now we move on to full-backs as opposed to centre-backs, which is a separate thing. We go on to full-backs. Again, using the image from the Ultimate City Squad. So we've got four guys there. Can you name all four? We've got a left-back, a right-back, a left-back, and a right-back as well, haven't we? You can name all four of those. My little wild card is a, is a left back, but I'll tell you about that in a bit. Right, the centre backs. Now, this is the one where I did struggle with one of them, but um, as I say, I, I, I may have guessed correctly when I'm looking at the area he was from. So we've got centre backs there. Can you name the four centre backs? One of those perhaps isn't thought of so much as a centre back, more, um, you know, but he's obviously fallen on, on the ultimate team. He's being called a centre back, but um, I would have called him, played right half in the old days, old money. So, you know what you think. If you get all four of them, well done, because I say there might be a couple you're struggling on, certainly one you will struggle on, the older guy. So that's who we classed as centre backs anyway. Right, on to the midfield. Four midfielders, four fantastic midfielders here. Can you name all four of those guys? Great kits as well. Look at them kit, them tops there on the uh, on this side. Fantastic, great kits. You think the kits look better without advertising on? I don't know, really. I mean, uh, 
you get used to the advertising, but they do look they do look nice with just a badge or just plain kits, don't they? Right, the wingers, only a couple of wingers here for you to name. Obviously, we must have had many, many good wingers over the years, and I can think three or four brilliant wingers offhand. But uh, so, just a couple of wingers again. You can give me a nickname if you want for uh, certainly one of these, if not both. But uh, the ultimate city squad wingers, but only showing us two. Do we have a lack of wingers, perhaps? My wild card is probably. You know, I certainly didn't see my wild card play, but uh, well, I think he, he would be in the ultimate ultimate squad. And the last one we're going to look at, obviously forward strikers, if you like. Again, I don't think there's any you know, all all four of these guys. Superb. I'm not. I wouldn't particularly argue with any of those. Fantastic. And have the privilege when you have the privilege of watching them all as well. That's even better, isn't it? Or when you when you've been able to watch them all. And I do have a little wild card that I certainly didn't wasn't able to watch, but certainly should be up there. So there you go. What do you think of that? I mean, this is an easy quiz today, isn't it? Not not easy, but a simple quiz to get through. My thanks again to to City. This was with the 2016-17 season cards, the Ultimate City squad. So it's probably stored away in your attic somewhere, isn't it, or something like that. So let's have a look at these. Let's have a look at the keepers first, eh? Well, I mean, I think I just think you should have been all right. Obviously, we've got Mr. Joe Hart, wonderful Joe Hart there. Of course, got the big German, Bert Troutman. And of course, my hero as a kid, won me a radio cassette player as well in a competition in the City Social Club when I was about 17. I don't know how I got in at that age. I must, I think I faked my ID, but um, they won me a radio cassette player. I used to take the top, top 10, 20 on Radio 1 every Sunday night, was it? I used to use my radio cassette player to do that. In the old days with the, the tape, but he won me one of those in a, a sort of a, a darts competition they had at the Golden Shot, they called it, I think. Uh, so thank you, Joe. So uh, always be my hero. Yeah, my little wild card. I would have obviously that's some great goalkeepers, haven't they? I mean, it's a shame, you know. You think modern, modern wise, you think obviously Edison now is going to be a, hopefully going to be a great goalkeeper, you know, and Tony Cole. And, but I mean, my other one was Frank Swift, obviously, who I've been doing in my city history vlogs, vlogs at the moment. So I think Frank Swift certainly needed to be up there, although he's not featured in that. I suppose there's only a limit to what they can do, isn't there? Right, the fullbacks, of course, we've got Skip, Tony Buck. Look at that kit. I love that. I mean, that's a, I've got a picture of myself in that kit, as a, which I've posted on Twitter occasionally when I was about uh, nine or ten. Obviously, have Gail Cliche, which perhaps, perhaps a bit unusual. A lot of people forget about Gail, don't they? But uh, he did a he did a great job for as le how long he was there as a as a left back. Gail Cliche. Of course, we had we can't miss out Pablo Zabaleta, can we? We had Zab Zablo Pablo Zabaleta, and of course the other one was Glimpardo. Fantastic. Obviously, we know the. Uh, the connections with a certain city, young city player now. Well, they've all been mentioned many, many times. Great image in the kit there, and the great picture of uh, Main Road in the background. Fantastic! There as he is in the in his in the red and black stripe one as well. Absolutely fantastic, Limpardo. My little wild card fullbacks. Well, I, there's a player who played at left back who used to in the second second out half of games used to always play on the Kipak side at Main Road. And he was the first defender that I knew that actually got a roar from the crowd. I mean, obviously. In my time, obviously, there was defenders in the early days, probably did as well. But a, a roar went up every time he picked the ball up and went on a run, and that was Willie Donachie, fantastic Scottish international. And he just he just seemed to be one of these attacking, you know, he was fit right in with Pep's team now, an attacking, attacking left, left back. And I know we've had a few over the years, but he's the one that I remember most from my personal memory. Obviously, Glimpardo, I, I loved that. Was, he was my first left back. Right, on to the centre-backs. So look who we've got. Obviously, we're not going to forget Vinny. Are we? Great image then with the uh, with the trophy. Great kit there. Look at the yellow kit. Fantastic. <laughs> I did a thing, a quiz on kits as well. I don't know if you've watched that or it's out. I think it's out. So please have a look at that one. 
that one this guy is my wild card he didn't feature on the picture uh, but dave watson opposite and i think he's a little bit he's got that um brain thing now of obviously from heading balls which is very very sad to hear but dave watson fantastic definitely my up there is one of my one of my uh favorites and this one's nicknamed tommy but he was actually caught and this is one where he's more right half i didn't really think of him as a center back uh, more a midfield right half defend obviously the right you had a right half and a number five didn't you as a center half so yeah, Mike Doyle, obviously nicknamed Tommy there. For oh, I don't remember that to be honest. Him called uh, called Tommy. Although they may be referring to Tommy Doyle. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> My mistake. So yeah, Tommy is referred as because I don't think I don't think Mike Doyle was called Tommy. I might be wrong, but uh, yeah, I think that <laughs> that's about his grandson, isn't it? Not not particularly about uh, about Mike Doyle. Of course, well, this one here, well, obviously on the shoulders of Don Revy there. And you've got Bailey there as well, and uh, Ken Barnes. I mean, some legends there. But obviously, it's Roy Paul who played centre-back in the 56 FA Cup winning team as well. But a great centre-back as I, I didn't get to watch that guy. But uh, called Roy the Rovers is his little, little nickname there. And the other one was another one. Yeah, of course. You've got to remember Dunny, haven't we? Richard Dunn, fantastic. Four. I've just done a thing where he was four years player of the year on the trot, wasn't he? I don't know if he did one more than four in total. I know he was the player of the year for four years in a row. Quite impressive. All right, the midfielders. Four midfielders, of course. There's, there's nowhere. Uh, where was KDB? He's my wild card, KDB, obviously. But got the wounded David Silver in there. He can't, you know, one of the greatest of all time. We, we are going to see him again, believe me. I don't think, it, you know, this season's been decimated, hasn't it? But I'm sure we'll see him again. The King, obviously, still, still borderline. You know, if someone said who my best City player is, I probably come up with three or four at least, if not more. But uh, Colin Bell's still up there. Legend, absolutely brilliant. Would have been superb and perhaps done more for England if he's, if he, if his career hadn't been cut short by an injury, unfortunately. Obviously, we've got Yaya, Ivorian powerhouse, and Alan Oaks, of course, the record for the appearances for Manchester City. Alan Oaks, fantastic again from my early days. Superb player, superb servant for uh, for Manchester City, obviously. So they're the four midfielders. And I said my wild card was KDB. KDB could have been in there, couldn't he? I mean, they do have him inside the mag the, the booklet, but obviously he wasn't featured on the images. But um, and he's still got plenty to go at, you know, and you've got Kinky as well in there. You've still got plenty to go at with um and they've even a special mention for Lakey as well, who could have been so much so fantastic, couldn't he? Lakey could have been a legend. Well, he is a legend, but he could have been more of a legend, obviously, for City and England. Again, such a shame. And the wingers, we're only showing two. We're only showing two wingers. Of course, we're talking Buzzer, Mike Summerby. Again, that's an image of, you know, I like to think I'm there in that crowd somewhere. I went to most of the games when that was going on most of those years. I may have been in the plat lane, though, as opposed to the Kipax. I did, did do both. I started off in the plat lane and moved to the Kipax. Of course, you're the winger, Shawnee Wright. Phillips, of course. Shawnee Wright, right, right. Did they have any more wingers? Let's have a look. Yeah, and this is my wild card that they did feature inside, of course, Billy Meredith. I mean, we have to forgive him going to United with all the betting scandal in the in the 1900s. But, um, yeah, superb, fantastic. The first real real legend, I think, football legend, he was recognised as Billy Meredith, and he was obviously a winger. A left winger. I think he was a left winger. And the forwards, the strikers. Well, we've got four there, haven't we? Come with four images there of strikers. And they've included wonderful, uh, rest in peace, Neil Young as well in, in the actual booklet. Neil Young, a fantastic player at the time, Bell Lee Summerby. And Young was unlucky not to feature in that Bell Lee Summerby thing. Uh, but you've got Tevez, obviously, fantastic. I mean, some people don't like how he treated City, etc. But you can't deny his, his total, when he, when he was on the pitch, his total commitment and a quality player. 
Lee one pen. I mean, they've not wrote that right actually. It used to be Lee number one in brackets because that used to be out, used to be shown on like teleprinters and stuff when they did, when they showed the scores or in the newspaper. So they wrote Lee one pen, but the whole idea was to have a one in brackets, not one as in number one. Because obviously to show he scored a pen, which he's very good at. Obviously, obviously Cunaguero, Sergio. You can't, you can't really say more than that, can you? And of course, in the seventies, we had the Wolf fantastic, and then back in the eighties again, temporarily, uh, Dennis Stewart, superb. I mean, he's, you know, he's, he's sort of great player, just the king of all Geordies. Yeah, I mean, honourable mentions. Obviously, the last one, sorry, the last one we've got is the guy. We've done too many there, haven't we? But obviously, we've got Sean Golton, haven't we? As well, I got carried away with the. We've had so many good forwards, and there's so many good good forwards in this book. Uh, I got a little bit carried away with that one. And my little one is doesn't feature in this, but again, from the thirties, a gentleman that's obviously you may know because obviously Conaguero took his goal scoring record, but Eric Brook in the thirties is one of my little wild card uh, strikers. So how did you do at that? 21, uh, yeah, I think you scored highly in that, didn't you, surely? As I say, uh, I, 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 I give myself 20. I, I probably would have got 21, but Roy Paul was probably the one I may have struggled a little bit on. But as I say, with it being the 50s and uh, sent the uh, centre-backs, and obviously I probably would have got that eventually. So, But I'll say I got 20 out of 21. How did you do? Let me know in the comments below how you did with that. I hope you enjoyed that anyway. As I say, thank, thanks to City and the Ultimate City squad. A bit, I got a bit carried away there with the with things. I mean, King Clads is in it as well in there. Uh, midfielders, let's have a look. And sorry about the Tommy thing. I just misunderstood what they meant by that. Of course, Tommy Doyle's there now, but perhaps, perhaps I'll have to have a read of that. I'll see. Perhaps he wasn't. He did have a nickname, Tommy, but wasn't. I'm certainly wasn't aware of that anyway. So let's have a left a skip. Big Joe. Yeah, I mean goalkeepers. I say they've only given three there, but lots more. I mean that's the ultimate city squad. I mean there's. You know, you can add many more to that, obviously, can't you? Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Please check the links below for other little quizzes, etc., that are out there. There's, there's tons of stuff. I'm trying to do a couple every week. So please enjoy them and do them for fun and do them with your mates, perhaps. See, see what they know. See if they can beat your score or what score you get. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm just going to say look after each other at the moment. I'm just going to say, you're saying, I mean, normal statement, but while this COVID 19 is going on i just want everyone to look after each other just like a look after everyone not just your family and friends so please and again hopefully i'll see you again with something like this very very soon i can only thank you for watching and much appreciated any thumbs ups please let me know you're out there let me know you're out there in the comments as well or on twitter at nostalgia underscore movie or at charles Deneen. you can follow me on either of those and also if you like movies and tv dramas i do little vlogs on those and please follow me on Facebook at Burns and Amy Links to moviegamenostalgia.com, which is my little website uh, for rare DVDs, posters from the 90s and 2000s, and retro board games. For the older board games, I can get hold of on there. So if you can spare a couple of minutes on there, fantastic. Much appreciated. Anyway, hopefully I'll see you all again very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.